What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode with Mom and Papa Joe. Today in the menu are some beef ribs. We're going to do these beef ribs uh, Argentinian asado style. I don't have the traditional equipment for it, but we're going to make it happen Mom and Papa Joe style. Hang around. All right, so today we're going to be working with some chuck beef ribs. Uh, these came in a two-pack. I'm only going to be using one. In the market, I asked the butcher to open up that two-pack and just slice them down the middle without cutting through the skin. A little cut here, but other than that, we're good to go. I just want to make these easier to handle uh, post-cook. We're gonna leave the membrane on, a couple leaves loose hanging off. I've already wiped and dried these, cleaned them up. I'm just gonna get rid of those, but this is not gonna require a whole lot of trimming if you wanna call this trimming. This is going to be a pretty hot cook. Simple seasonings. I've really been into this Argentinian style cooking in the last uh, month or so. Uh, you saw me do the lamb ribs with just the salt, uh, getting that golden color as opposed to my dark crusty bark that I'm usually shooting for. The only thing about these chuck ribs is you got this one side where this fat vein goes in pretty deep, man, and can seriously uh, degrade one of these uh, nice bones. All I'm gonna do is just thin that out a hair. We're not doing anything else. No binder or anything. I've got here two teaspoons of kosher salt. And yeah, I season the back side as well. Let's hit these sides. That's it. We're gonna head outside and we'll get this expert grill fired up. All right, folks, our fire is ready to go, man. Got my two baskets, combination of uh, cowboy hardwood briquettes and cowboy hardwood lump. Again, that long, clean burn. This pan, as usual, is just to make cleanup a little easy. No other reason. My hinge grate in case I need to add fuel. And of course, my extension rack. Come back down. And folks, the idea here, man, the traditional, the Argentinians do this over live coals, wood coals that they allow to burn down. I don't have that luxury. Uh, and they use a grate that's fairly adjustable. They can lower and raise. Uh, this distance from the fire to the actual meat I think really works. Again, I'm not going for that uh, dark, crusty bark. I want that golden, crunchy, beautiful bark, and I think I'll get it. We'll be back out here in about an hour or so to see what's going on. All right, our beef is on, man. We're gonna come back and make a quick criollo. Criollo is sort of the pico de gallo, but uh, Argentinian style. And it's not meant to go on tacos or those types of things. It's supposed to go alongside meat. So it's a combination of tomatoes, uh, bell peppers. You could use green or red or a combination. Uh, white onion, uh, some garlic, and some fresh oregano. I'm going to mince these up. So our veggies are put together. I'll come back in here with a nice shake of uh, some cracked black pepper, some red pepper flakes, a pinch of salt. Got here a quarter cup, four tablespoons of red wine vinegar. And I've also got a quarter cup of olive oil. And according to what I read, this is not something that you make a day ahead. This is something you make uh, when you're cooking a meal. It's meant to be eaten immediately, as opposed to a pico de gallo, which gets better, you know, uh, the day after or a couple of hours in advance. Let me just give this liquid a little taste. 
that's pretty good. All right, we've got about another half hour or so before we go check out me. All right, we are at one hour, folks. That pit has been running right around 375. That's our little split I showed you earlier. Let's see what's happening underneath. All right, looking good. Folks, the only thing I'm gonna do is just rotate and we're gonna let this go. I'm gonna come out here in maybe another half an hour. All right, we're still rocking 350, man, at an hour and a half. <laughs> we are nicely rendered, man. <laughs> I'm gonna give this maybe another 15 minutes or so. We feel really nice and soft. And I wanna do that last 15 minutes meat side down so 15 more minutes i'll be back out here uh and i'm going to temp for those of you who like temp but i'm going by field uh and we should be we should be pushing man 200. all right folks we are at hour and 50 minutes man 208 there we're gonna call this good i've got some peppers on here getting a little char cooking let's see what we're looking like here we're off of here for a little rest Man, we've given this baby a couple of minutes to rest up. Mm. Feels good. I'm gonna cut her right down. Mm -hmm. Oh man, beautiful friend. Of course, I'm telling you, with just the salt, the pure beefiness comes out, man. Absolutely beautiful. Nice and tender. You get some of those salt flakes that have crusted up. Mm. I've just got to see what it's like with this criollo. That's right, Mama. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> That's special. It is. All right, folks, Mama and I are getting ready to sit down. As usual, very simple cook, man. Uh, hour and 50 minutes. And I want to say it should have been hour 45, but I spent a little time messing around with those peppers with the grill open. As usual, I want to thank you guys and gals for hanging out with Mom and Papa Joe's. We absolutely appreciate it. Be on the lookout for another video coming soon. In the meantime, I want you guys to take care of yourselves, love each other. I uh, will see you when we see you. Happy Fourth of July. You guys take care. <laughs>